Central Utah farmers are turning to new irrigation techniques and technology to save water. The Department of Agriculture is financing a lot of these projects along the Colorado River. New specialist Shelby Lofton introduces us to the farmers there who are trying to get the most out of every drop. My family and I, these kids, and all of us are just a piece of the ecosystem. Boulder Creek Canyon Ranch. Ah. I got alfalfa, I need clover. Oh. Wasn't always this green. We came on to a farm that was pretty worn out, uh, really sandy, really weedy. Andy Rice spent the last four years improving the health of the soil so he can produce more. Sandfloin, alfalfa, sweet clover, plantain, chicory. It takes water to do that, a source that's depleting fast where he farms. I don't know any farmers who wake up in the morning and go, you know what I can't wait to do? I can't wait to go waste a bunch of our most precious resource. Our producers are, are the original conservationists. Hannah Fries is the Department of Agriculture and Foods Water Optimization Program Manager. She says Utah farmers know they need to take action now. We want to be able to help anybody that's willing to put in a new irrigation system um, that wants to help be a part of the solution. Every one of them is different. Rice uses a new water-saving pivot irrigation system with the help of the program. As it makes its circle, it's calibrated to where I can go into the computer on this machine and program it to run very precise units of measurement. He can operate the efficient nozzles remotely. You could run it from your Apple Watch if you wanted to. He says the updated technology has saved them millions of gallons of water. If the state or the federal government is willing to defray half of that expense, it suddenly looks a lot more viable. The water optimization program has $276 million in funding to cover half the cost of the projects. The farmers cover the other half. There's going to be water reductions that have to take place. And so if we can come in first and say, let us help you get this improved irrigation system, then our farmers can stay in business. Free says, realistically, it'll cost $2 billion to reach the majority of farmers. But this is a start. As we can leave more uh, water in storage reservoirs or use less out of the rivers. I'm approved for $200,000. Richard Pace nice dogs. hopes to have a new pivot through the help of the program on his Teasdale Fields next spring. With pivot, you can put the water where you want it. He says the techniques he's used in the past waste water. Every morning there's a wind, but when your crops come up, you've got a bare spot where the, where the water doesn't hit. And time. We used to sit out on the ditch bank all night long. We'd move that water every two hours. As he watches development move into town and farmland disappear, he hopes his investment in new technology pays off in the long run. It's just what I've done all my life. I don't know anything else. The Department of Agriculture says it's essential they get ongoing funding to continue these projects. Reporting for KSL 5 News, I'm Shelby Lofton. Shelby, thank you. You can learn a lot more about the Great Salt Lake Collaborative and the new irrigation techniques at greatsaltlakenews.org and also on our website, ksltv.com.